Wellington Stakes. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Northern Knight had a tentative start and is gapping from the field from the get-go. It's Life Sad Dream making a bid for top honors. Hawaiian Cowboy a little faster. La Cocorocha takes third. Along the inside Sea Dog Man is fourth. Albert's Direction drove out in fifth position. Klingon Hanover is sixth. Life sizzles seventh away. Eighth on the outside moved out of there was Gun that won the West in heavy traffic. Capital Request is third from last ahead of place 2B and Northern Knight with an uphill climb to try to catch the field. They made the quarter in 26 and 3. Hawaiian and Cowboy hit the front early. Driving into the pocket was Life's Sad Dream. La Cucarocha took in from third at three-eighths completion, and that's Sea Dog Man to follow up in fourth. In fifth position, Albert's Direction, and Gun that won the West did get a seat in sixth. Klingon Hanover will follow that one as the flow begins from seventh. Capital Request is eighth. Place 2B is ninth. Life Sizzle's tenth, and Northern Knight was eleventh, and there's the half for Hawaiian Cowboy in 56 and three. 30 seconds even in the second quarter. Moderate fractions. Flush first over was Sea Dog Man to go first up on Hawaiian Cowboy and staying in second for the pocket ride is Life's a Dream, three-eighths of the mile to go. Sea Dog Man on the first up advance, gun that won the West, is up into the race for Campbell, second over from fourth, La Cocorocha stays at the inside from fifth. Sixth outside Klingon Hanover, hoping for live flow to head stretch, then it's back to Albert's direction, capital request, Life Sizzles, place 2B and Northern Knight is 11th, they turn for home, Hawaiian Cowboy, 120 25 and 2, 28 and 4, third quarter. Hawaiian Cowboy is up into the final eighth of the mile, trying to draw off, but Life's a Dream is the next closest pursuer. Hawaiian Cowboy, Life's a Dream, gun that won the West in Albert's direction. It's down to Hawaiian Cowboy, and Life's a Dream. Life's a Dream, 30 to 1, upset in the third Burlington Division. Over Hawaiian Cowboy, Klingon Hanover looking for third. Life's a Dream, 152. We're just awaiting uh, the winning connections to make their way to the winner's circle. Going to quickly chat with Ben Wallace. Uh, ben, 30 to 1 shocker. Are you surprised at the outcome? Well, he's been an unfortunate colt uh, when he's gone for big money. And uh, fortunately, tonight we lucked out. Uh, I can understand the public's perspective. Uh, there was some classy colts coming in here with a lot of press. And, uh, uh, and, and you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't have it. So I can understand. Uh, talking to Mario Bayergeon, prior to the Prix de Montréal, you sent up uh, four horses for that. He thought this might be the best colt. Uh, did you agree with him at that time? Yeah, at the time, uh, again, he got uh, did get some bad racing luck up there, and uh, you know this is an up and down game tonight. We looked like heroes uh, a week ago, so we we were unfortunate. So we'll take it. And off of this, I'm sure we'll see him back next week for the uh, Cup of Limbs. Yeah, stick around, get in that golf tournament. All right, we're gonna let you go and enjoy the Winter Circle presentation. Good. Congratulations, Ben Wallace, winning trainer. Thank you, Ben and Greg, and there is six. Life's a dream returning. Life signed three-year-old Bay Colt from Sweet Sharon. Owner Roy McKenzie of Eastbourne, New Zealand. Trainer Ben Wallace, driven to victory by Mario Bayarjan. The third and seven this year is a life's mark in the third Burlington Stakes Division. Life's a dream in 152. Racing Secretary Scott McKelvey making the Burlington Stakes Trophy presentation in the winner's circle. <laughs> 